Viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the Coaches Desk, my people. Big up yourself. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Yeah, man. And we give thanks for the support that you have been giving us. You know what I mean? So, you know, this thing just ran across my mind. And uh, I decided that, you know, it would be good to share with you um, to see what are your thoughts on this particular situation. All right. So. Let's jump right into it. I've been thinking about Tyreek McGee's progression and uh, what his progression could have been if he was actually getting um, more game time. Yeah? I do believe that he would have been on a Different level people. Yeah, man. Different level. If, if, if Tyree Maggie was, was getting a lot of minutes under those legs, definitely he would have been doing exceptionally well. And I don't want to be misunderstood. Not to say that he, the times when he gets to play, he does well. So what I'm saying, if, if he would have been given more time then that simple would have lifted his game even for his club to realize that he should be starting in their team yeah so wh wh why did i pull this conclusion and it's simple it is simple you you, you do something over a period of time consistently and definitely you you have to improve now it depending for, for 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 sports it's depending on the talent level of the person so if you have two athletes one more talented than the other then when both of them goes through the same regime both will improve yeah but the one the one with the more talent would far exceed the one with the lesser talent. So, in other words, some might improve at a rapid rate, while some might improve at a snail slow pace. Yeah? Alright, so, why am I saying all of this? It is as a result of Devon Speedy Williams. Yeah, man, who remember last year? Leading into this year, the Gold Cup and all of these friendlies that would have had. A lot of people were talking down Devon Speedy Williams. Mm -hmm. Especially those who are not in favor of uh, the national team using USL players. And of course, you know, Devon Speedy Williams is one of those players that you'd call usl players but he wasn't a number of persons favorite all right however the, the 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 mere fact that he was getting minutes upon minutes upon minutes i guarantee you that uh, not many people are singing the same tune where Devon Williams is concerned. Why? Because there has been a significant improvement in his game. Some might not agree, you know. Some might not agree, but it's where it's coming from. It's where it's it, it, it it's how I used to view it per se. Devon Speedy Williams were more box to box. Um he has been given a role in the central defensive midfield and in my estimation he has improved rapidly and hence the reason why he is one of those core players he's one of those players that coach Whitmore has to put on his his, his his squad list yeah so it's quite interesting how Devon would have improved yeah and it is simple. 
He has been getting games at his club and he has been getting a lot of minutes with the national team. Yeah? So that would have aided his improvement. And for me, more so the national team. Because from where we saw him to where he is now, it has been a rapid improvement. And we have to give kudos to um, him for stepping up his game because you can get minutes. And if you're not stepping up your game, then the improvement will not come. All right. So with that said, I believe, I believe, I'm of the belief that if Tyree McGee had gotten the amount of opportunity that Devon Speedy Williams, or let me not say opportunity, let me say the amount of minutes that Devon Speedy Williams would have been um, given in the national team, then Tyree McGee would have been one of the biggest names in the national team. Every single time this youngster plays, he has tongues wagging. Mm -hmm. Every time the man play. Yeah? Evil persons who are saying that in the palm bench, uh, you pen, so he, he, he should not be called up. And, yeah, man, a lot of comments about Terry Maggie. But the man is a magician. The man is a good baller. You know, no matter what people are saying, Ravel big him up as a big baller. Yeah? The, 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 this youngster, um, a lot of people were saying, though, in terms of his, he's a bit timid and coward. He doesn't tackle. He doesn't run back, all of these things. But, you know, oftentimes you have to have a player in your team like that, you know. But in the last game that I saw him, the, especially the second um, section of the game where he he actually was putting in a better performance in terms of tackling in terms of shoulder to shoulder um, with with other players and so forth and as I said if that is something that is going to be happening consistently for Tyreek Maggie I definitely see that he's going to be improving miles above the rest. Yes, I do believe that. No doubt about it. He is of quality. And what quality players like these need is time on the pitch to showcase their talent, to play their game. These men love to be put out there, to play, to enjoy. You know what I mean? So I definitely believe that when Tyreek Maggie starts to get a lot more minutes, then we're going to see the real Ty Tyreek Maggie. And if that has been happening from those fixtures, you know, man, from, from, from those friendlies, you know, trust me, you know, he, he would be a steel player of the team, you know, a start at, in my estimation, you know. Yeah? Yeah? So... I definitely, I definitely, I definitely believe that Tyreek McGee needs more minutes. There are aspects of his game that the coach might see that we probably are not looking at that needs improvement. But can it be improved only on the bench? Can it be improved only on the training pitch? And you notice I say only. Because he has to do a lot of work on the training pitch in order to improve what he needs to improve. You know what I mean? However, in order to assimilate that, in order to put that into practice, for it to become permanent, he has to get games. Very critical. So people, what are your thoughts about this little topic that jumped out at me? Tyreek McGee needs more minutes in order to be the Tariq Maggi that he is or the talent needs to be exposed. Same thing that happened to Devon Williams. Share your thoughts down below in the comment section, people. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time in another video, Coach's Desk, peace out.